Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from TechSpert and today we're going to be reviewing Xiaomi's latest budget-friendly true wireless earbuds, the Redmi Buds 4 Pro, which packs some really impressive features including adaptive active noise cancellation and a dual driver setup, and yet they'll only cost you about 50 quid on sites like AliExpress. But are they a veritable bargain, like they sound, or even at this price should you tell them to do one? Well, I've been using the Redmi Buds 4 Pro as my full-time True Wireless Earbuds for over a week now, so here's my in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up, when you actually try and get the Redmi Buds 4 Pro out of the case and into your lug holes, this is when problem one arises. They are an absolute ball ache to get out of this case. If you've got even slightly damp hands, good frickin' luck. Of course, now that the cameras are rolling, I managed to get them out straight away first time, but quite often I'm there for a good minute or so, flapping the case around, desperately trying to free these things. But when you do eventually manage to free them from their shiny white cell, the good news is that the Redmi Buds 4 Pro rocks some pretty decent design. They're compact, they're lightweight, and they don't jut very far from your ears either, so they don't look ridiculous when they're stuck in there. Although, of course, you do get the usual dangle down stems, which look a little bit like a jizz trill here in the white model. And all the choice of two colours as well, white or black, that is it. But they are very comfortable uh, to wear and they don't fidget around in your ears when you are, you know, striding down the street at pace. Unless you're a bit sweaty or something, there's not enough friction going on between the earbuds and your head. You do get a variety of differently sized silicon tips bundled in the box. You can get the perfect fit for your own particular lug holes. I found the pre-fitted ones were absolutely perfect for my ears. And just to show how good that fit is, wash test. And while the Redmi Buds 4 Pro can shift around a little bit when your ears do get sweaty, they are also IP54 sweat resistant, so at least they're not going to balk up when your head gets a bit damp. Now, connecting these buds to your smartphone, an absolute piece of pie. Bluetooth 5.3 connectivity, so you can actually pair up with your smartphone and your laptop simultaneously and swap between the two on the fly. And to fully control and customize the Redmi Buds 4 Pro, you can download the Xiaomi Earbuds app direct from the likes of Google Play. This can clue you in as to approximately how much battery life you have left remaining in both of the buds and the actual case. It also allows you to quickly swap between the noise cancelling mode, the transparency mode, and just switch the whole lot off. You've also got full gesture support. More on all that shenanigans in a bit. You can play around with the actual audio output, choosing from a small variety of different options. You've got a pretty handy ear tip fit test feature as well, just to make sure you've definitely got the right size of silicon tips slapped on there. You've got a pretty bog standard find your earphones feature if one of them decides to go walkies, and you can toggle various settings such as the in-ear detection. Now the in-ear detection feature works pretty well here on the Redmi Buds 4 Pro. Just pluck out either the left or the right bud while your music or podcast whatever is playing. It will automatically pause so you can have a chat with someone or do whatever. And then when you stick the bugger back in, it will automatically resume whatever you were playing. You've also got touch controls on these buds so you can double tap or triple tap or press and hold to perform a different action on both the left bud and the right bud. And this is fully customizable as well. So for instance, you can have a double tap of the left earphone to play or pause. And then on the right one, you can have it flick into the next song. Instead, the triple tap, you can have assigned to volume up and volume down. And last up, a press and hold of either bud can either be assigned to cycling through the noise cancellation modes or calling up the voice assistant. This conjures up your default smartphone assistant. So in my case, it was the Google Assistant and I found it works absolutely fine. And tucked away in that app, you'll also find hands-free voice controls, which are supposed to allow you to say things like next song, previous song, volume up. And then the True Wireless Earbuds are supposed to actually do it for you, but I could not get this to work, possibly because I've got a stupid semi-northern, semi-southern accent that I just simply did not understand. Now, quite impressively at this price point, the Redmi Buds 4 Pro also offer full active noise cancellation. Not only that, but it's an adaptive active noise cancellation, so it can cycle through three different strengths of ANC based on how much noisy shit is going on all around you. And this generally worked pretty well. I did find that when I went out and, uh, you know, was walking by a busy street with lots of traffic going by, the ANC would ramp up to the highest levels to try and drown out that noise, muffle the sounds of the cars. The adaptive aspect doesn't work perfectly all of the time. Occasionally, I'd be somewhere with a constant high level of background noise, such as a playground, for instance, and then the ANC would just suddenly drop for a few seconds and I'd be all too aware of the screeching, screaming children surrounding me until it decided to mercifully ramp back up again. 
But at this sort of price point, the noise cancellation itself does work really, really well. Certainly, I could quite happily stroll down a really busy high street, lots of traffic going around, lots of people swarming all around me, and I could listen to a podcast without having to jack the volume up to the maximum levels, which I really don't like. And I didn't experience any kind of wind feedback either. Even when I was striding at pace on quite a blustery day, I didn't get that annoying noise that kind of buggers everything up. So overall, again, at this price point, very impressive stuff from Xiaomi. But what about the actual audio quality on the Redmi Buds 4 Pro? Well, it's actually a dual driver setup in both of these buds. You've got a 6mm driver and a 10mm driver working in tandem. You've also got full LDAC support on these bad boys as well. So as long as your smartphone also supports LDAC, you can stream your music at a pretty high bitrate. Not quite lossless, unfortunately, but pretty good. Unfortunately, however, the audio quality is still quite budget. It's obvious when you put these in and play some music that they're not expensive true wireless earbuds. It's quite a flat sound overall. You'll certainly notice when you listen to more complex tracks that some of that depth is really lost in translation. And drums sound pretty weak and the bass is fine, but it does lose some of its bite when you're listening to some filthy nine inch nails or something like that. And that's even with that bass boost feature enabled as well. But as long as you're not an audiophile, you'll probably get on with the Redmi Buds 4 Pro and, you know, like some podcasts and audiobooks sound absolutely fine as well. And, you know, this is the kind of audio output I would expect from a £50 pair of True Wireless earbuds. But if you are an audiophile, you've got a little bit more cash to spend, I'd say maybe try and grab something like the Anker Soundcore Space A40s. They are about 30, 40 quid more, but they do sound absolutely incredible. That soundscape is so much fuller. Let's definitely give those a whirl. And to test out the Redmi Buds 4 Pro's built-in microphones, this is just a voice sample I'm recording right here in my very quiet studio, so not very testing right now, but I'm about to play some very loud traffic simulation sounds. Now blasting out of a massive speaker, very close to my head to simulate walking down. It's me, a dual carriageway, if you want to do that for whatever reason. And as you can hear, the mic's still doing a respectful job of picking up on my voice while dampening down that background clamour. Now last up, the battery life, and Xiaomi reckons you'll get around 9 hours of playback on a single charge of the Redmi Buds 4 Pro. Quite a generous estimate, that right there, and especially that's with the ANC off. If you've got ANC turned on, you can expect about half of that, around 4 to 5 hours of playback before they will need to be stuffed back inside of the shiny white case. And the actual case itself will give you roughly three full recharges before this also needs power and back up. Uh, you don't get any wireless charging or any premium features like that, as you would expect for 50 quid. Uh, but you do have a Type-C USB port down below, so just bung in your phone charger or whatever and that'll power right back up again. And the good news is you do have fairly fast charging uh, once you bung those buds in there as well. So just about 10-15 minutes in the case will give you a couple of hours of playback. And that, in a nutshell, my lovelies, is the Xiaomi Redmi Buds 4 Pro True Wireless Earbuds. Certainly a bit of a bargain at this sort of price, as long as you're not expecting extreme sound quality or anything like that. You've got the adaptive ANC in there, which is pretty rare at this sort of price point. A pretty comfortable, slim and light design, and some other good features in there, including touch controls, which work a charm. Anyhow, that's what I reckon. It'd be great to hear what you guys think down in the comments below. Please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.